At the core of the Princeton and Slavery Project is a set of facts. It's ads, it's financial records, it's wills, etc. that we have found. But historians aren't the only people who can interpret the past, because there's so many ways to engage the history of slavery and this university and slavery in this town. Professor Sanweis gave me this gift of um, uh, an information about a diary of a young Princeton student uh, that she knew was in the archives and she thought that that might be interesting to look at because no one had really looked at it yet. It's the diary of a man named Robert Sawyer and he was, um, he had an intense spiritual crisis while he was at Princeton. There's an opportunity for a man with your religious inclinations. Where? Africa. An idea of mine. I have found support in our very own church right here in Princeton for it. And why not? They need us there to bring the light. There are mornings I cannot get out of bed because of the weight in my heart. It is as dry as a piece of coal and dig as I may for the light, I they cannot find any. Robert Sawyer turned out to be a piece in a much larger picture about the American Colonization Society and this movement that originated in Princeton to uh, send freed men back, back to Africa in an attempt to solve what they considered to be the race problem. So they were anti-slavery ostensibly um, and this was their solution. My friends, the objectives of colonization are simple. We want to rescue freed colored people from the degradation they experience here in the United States. We want to place them in a country where they might enjoy the great blessings of free government. We want to spread civilization and morals to Africa, which as you know in recent years has fallen into hideous barbarism, whilst giving our slave owners a place to send their manumitted slaves. All in favor, say aye. Aye. When I started looking into this material, I thought that this history was unfamiliar to me because I didn't grow up in this country. But as I spoke to people, I realized that actually a lot of people don't are not familiar with this history that led to the purchase of Liberia. So it kind of made me feel that it was important to in some way represent that history and not just respond to it, but to kind of uh, envelop my personal response into a telling of a story that actually hews very closely to the truth. <laughs>